everything. It, it was easy for us, you know, because we don't think they deserve it, you know? <laughs> it wasn't a difficult thing to do, you know? Not, no. not the way me and Barack were raised. I mean, first of all, you got to have a mate that shares your values. So it starts way back to who you pick. You got to have a good picker, because if you all don't come to parenting, with the same kind of values and understanding that stuff doesn't, isn't parenting, giving kids things is not, parenting is an, it, it is a verb. It is an active, engaging thing. And that means you gotta know who you, your kids are and each one of them are different, right? So you can't just apply the same principles to the first one that you did to the second one because they come here totally different. Um, so we, you know, we didn't just show up in the White House, you know, we, I'm Michelle from the south side of Chicago. I grew up <laughs> in a little bitty house. I got nice clothes and jewelry now, but my mother made my clothes, you know. I mean, we were raised with the, that's enough. You know, you be grateful for what you have. You don't look at the next thing. You be happy with what you have. And that's how we work in the White House. That didn't change because we moved to a different house. You know, the house didn't define us. It's the values that defined us. So, for us. So I heard, we read this, although, you know, we can't believe anything we read, but I, I know Malia's third year Harvard and you all, all together as a family, dropped Sasha off. We did, we dropped Malia off too. Yes. Yeah, we all did. Okay. And I heard- With the, the, with the motorcade. With, with the motorcade. <laughs> <laughs> tried to hide it, but it was there. It's hard with 20 cars. <laughs> well, they, they, we had them do less cars. Okay. So it had to be How an was the drop off? Motorcade. It was, it, it's always good for any parent who's dropped off kids. There's the busy part of drop off, which is like, okay, all right, and I'm that person while Barack is like trying to put together a lamp. I'm like, girl, you cannot keep all these clothes. You brought a hundred shoes and you live in a dorm. So you can, you can pick 10. I mean, this is what I'm doing. It's like pick 10 shoes. You cannot bring all those shoes. And she was supposed to do that before we got there, which was winnow her clothes down. But see, she didn't understand what dorm life was. And I was like, girl, you got three inches of a closet, so you gotta figure this out. So there's that busyness of trying to move in and pack, unpack and fold clothes and clean Put out the stuff. together. And get it all together. Um, and so when you're busy with the busy stuff, you're not thinking about the emotional stuff. So usually we then drop them off, get them in the dorm, then we take them out to lunch somewhere. And that's like our last lunch. And when the emotions come is when we are getting in our cars and getting on a plane and leaving our babies and they're going somewhere where they will now live. That's when it hits you. It's like we all start choking up. It would just just like, this is the time when I know you're leaving. Yeah. And so we all, you know, try to hold it together. We tried to hold it together to get her in the car so she wouldn't start crying. And then me and Barack, we bawled like babies. <laughs> <laughs> you know.